What's going on, guys? It's Jimmy here, and welcome to our daily show where we discuss the fourth stimulus check update, the two new upcoming stimulus and infrastructure packages, as well as what is going on in the world today. Baby Yoda here wanted to join me closer to say, May the fourth be with you today, as today is May the fourth in the Star, War <laughs> Star Wars community. So, special thanks to Baby Yoda for. <laughs> being a guest appearance on our show today. Several different things to go over today. We're going to go over what is starting this week, as well as several different things going on with the stimulus checks, the negotiations, as well as what is going on in the world today. So if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below so you don't miss out on new updates and hit the like button for us. It really helps out our channel. And here we go. I see some confusion in the comments section from people who are getting letters literally today, yesterday, the day before from the White House, starting with my fellow Americans saying you should be receiving a stimulus check within seven days of receiving this letter sent from President Biden. Let me know if you got this uh, stimulus check letter and no, unfortunately, it's not for the fourth stimulus check yet. Although it is for the third stimulus check, and this just shows you how behind our government is sometimes, yes, they're sending out letters saying that you will be receiving your stimulus check within seven days of receiving this letter, and yet the letters for the third stimulus check, which some people got as far away as a month ago. So yeah, unfortunately, it's not for the next stimulus check letter yet, but I'm sure once we get the fourth stimulus check, you'll probably get another letter for that one a month after you receive it. So yeah, this is just a classic scenario on the pace that our government works at, uh, and especially the confusion that our government has sometimes. And yeah, at first, President Biden said that he wasn't going to sign his name on the checks because he didn't want to delay the checks like former President Donald Trump did. Well, I, in all reality, how long does it take you to sign a piece of paper and add it on the check? But I don't know. Let's say that would have been a day of delay. He did go ahead and he's getting a lot of criticism right now, President Biden is, because he essentially did the same thing that the Democrats criticized the uh, former President Donald Trump for, is that is taking credit for the stimulus checks. And that is basically the reason that President Biden sent out 150 million stimulus check uh, letters with taxpayer dollars to basically say, uh, you're welcome, and uh, hopefully there'll be another one coming. So yeah, unfortunately, this letter isn't for the fourth stimulus check yet. It's for the third stimulus check. However, there are a couple, uh, we'll call them freebies that you can get for um, having a vaccination. And new ones are propping up every single day. There are multiple different items you can get nationwide just for showing that you had a vaccine and showing your vaccine card or vaccine identification, although some people are getting wary about having to show vaccine identifications. Budweiser says that you can get a round on us when you show that you've been vaccinated on a beeronbud.com. So you can get a free beer from Budweiser when you show you've been vaccinated on their website. You can also get a Krispy Kreme donut every single day of the year for 2021. That's right, every single day, simply by showing your vaccine identification. You can also get a free hot dog, which is presumably every single day of the year, from Nathan's Famous, although you need to be at the Coney Island stand uh, as of the time of this reporting. But it's possible that the other local Nathans might honor it as well. Now, we actually have a bunch of uh, states that are now considering gift cards up to $100 as well as uh, free beer to go out and actually get vaccinated. As you can see here, it's not often that a state health department encourages residents to drink beer. But in New Jersey, the Department of Health will buy residents a pint of their own if residents show proof that they have been vaccinated against the virus. Quote, we're not going to be afraid to try new things, says Governor Phil Murphy, a Democrat governor from New Jersey. He said as he unveiled the, quote, shot and a beer campaign. And he isn't alone. Connecticut Governor Ned Lamont's administration is buying beers for nutmeggers at any of the dozens of restaurants that have signed up for the state's 
Connecticut Drinks on Us campaign, saying, quote, this is the place to be and drinks are on us. What more can you ask for? Lamont said last week, we want to do everything we can to encourage you to get vaccinated. In West Virginia, Republican Governor Jim Justice has rolled out a program that will give $100 savings bonds to younger residents to get vaccinated. Detroit residents can get a $50 prepaid debit card each time they bring one of their fellow residents to get a shot. Maryland Governor, Republican Governor Larry Hogan on Monday announced a new $100 bonus for state employees who get the vaccination and a retroactive bonus for those who have already had it. Governor Hogan says incentives like this are another way to reinforce the importance of getting vaccinated. These vaccines are safe and effective. They're free and they're readily available with or without an appointment. Harris County, Texas has set aside $250,000 to purchase gift cards, hold events, and create incentive programs for residents to get vaccinated. In Wayne County, New York, between Rochester and Syracuse, residents can go to a special Star Wars-themed vaccine clinic today on May the 4th. So yeah, it's an interesting time to be alive. There's a lot of different freebie programs, stimulus-type programs where they're giving you free things or giving you free money even or debit cards or gift cards to actually go and get vaccinated or to show your vaccine proof. Yeah, it's a it's an interesting time. We also had a recent survey that showed 60% of the uh, businesses in the United States from the survey are going to force their employees to become vaccinated or possibly lose their job. We also have dozens of colleges that have now come out and said that for the fall semester, you have to be vaccinated or you cannot physically go to school at their locations. You can take Zoom classes and online learning, but you will not physically be able to go there. That started with Rutgers University and has now gone on to dozens of colleges online. Uh, law professors and law experts say that private businesses can do this. But we've also had dozens of states, it's starting with uh, Governor DeSantis from Florida, and now I think there's around a dozen or so that have banned vaccine identification or what is called a vaccine passport and they have banned it so you cannot be forced to show your vaccine identification to get into any type of venue or any type of business so we're going to have some clashing of the titans here uh, over the next probably few weeks as the country kind of goes in two different directions in one way they're banning vaccine identification and in the other way, they're forcing you to get vaccine to work there or to go to college there. And I personally think that the school, uh, kindergarten through 12, is going to go in that direction. It's not that I'm a Republican or I'm a Democrat. I'm just a realist. And I'm reading between the lines. And there's already several vaccinations that children are required to get and have been for decades to go to school in all 50 states and I just think that uh, the coronavirus vaccine is going to eventually get added onto that list, if not as early as this fall. I think the, the problem with starting this fall is that vaccines aren't really available for young children yet at this point, but I think it will be uh, in the near future. Let me know your thoughts on that. Regardless of how bad your day is going, it's probably not as bad as Republican Senator Mitt Romney, who was the only Republican senator to vote to impeach former President Donald Trump in the Senate, as he goes uh, in front of a rally of Republicans to speak. And yeah, it didn't go well. So what do you think about President Biden's first 100 days? Now, you know me as a person who... Uh, who says what he thinks, and I don't hide the fact that I wasn't a fan of our last president's character issues. And I'm also no fan... Aren't you embarrassed? And I'm also no fan of the... Speaking of Republican Senator Mitt Romney... 
He has teamed up with Democratic Senator Kirsten Sinema, who are both middle-leaning, not necessarily far-right or far-left-leaning. They have both co-authored a bill to introduce uh, and reduce student loan debt via a new government savings program that would match eight times the amount you put in these savings. This is one of the plans that could go forward for future student loan um, debt reduction, along with the two years of free college that President Biden has proposed. President Biden has introduced a bill or a provision in the next stimulus package for two years of free college plus two years of free preschool and for a total of four years of free education that would be funded for by the government and likely will be included in this next stimulus package, what we're calling the fourth stimulus check package. Mitt Romney and Kirsten Sinema have also teamed up on another bill that has been introduced to raise the minimum wage to $11 an hour. This is a bipartisan bill with Republicans and Democrats behind it and would raise the minimum wage at the federal minimum wage from $7.25 per hour to $11 per hour, which would be about a 50% increase and would stage up over the next couple years. It would not go instantly from $7.25 to $11 an hour. There is still 40% of the United States is at the federal minimum wage level of $7.25. States can choose to be higher, and there's some states that have already passed laws to make their minimum wage $15 an hour, although most of those states have not been $15 an hour right now. Their step-up plans, like uh, Florida's passed a bill for $15 an hour minimum wage, but it doesn't go into full effect until 2026. Negotiations over the fourth stimulus check and the next stimulus package, the American Families Plan, is starting this week as they're now trying to decide what stimulus items, what stimulus provisions, and how much a stimulus check could be included in the next stimulus package, the American Families Plan that has already been introduced along with the American, well, the American Families Plan, along with the physical infrastructure plan known as the American Jobs Plan, which the White House says will create millions of jobs. President Biden is being pressured by Democratic lawmakers in both the House and the Senate to include a fourth stimulus check in this next uh, stimulus package, but not only just a fourth stimulus check, monthly recurring stimulus checks that would go until at least the pandemic is declared over sometime in the future, most likely a minimum of six months from now. The bill that was introduced in the Senate by Senators Ed Markey and Elizabeth Warren for $2,000 monthly stimulus checks that would go until the pandemic is over, so again, think a minimum of six checks or $12,000, has really leapt into the limelight this week with a new petition that is now over 2.1 million signatures. This petition urges the government to pass $2,000 per month stimulus, pack, uh, stimulus checks until the pandemic is over and is growing in increasing support almost every single day. The actual petition, as you can see here, showing a picture of a, res a closed restaurant, is over 2.1 million signatures now and has enough to go on to the White House and force the White House to give a response because this petition has so many signatures. I will link you to the other video where I give you the link to that and talk about that more uh, in length if you want to sign that petition here in a moment. But if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe down below and join our family of subscribers. It's completely free to do so. I'll keep you up to date on the negotiations of the new stimulus check package and the new uh, infrastructure package, as well as what different stimulus provisions could be included in this next stimulus package, including social security increases. There's two different bills to increase all social security benefits by $200 per month, and another bill that was just introduced last week to increase SSI benefits by $279 per month that could also end up including SSDI. We also have several different uh, student loan debt propositions, student loan debt savings proposition. We have the two-year uh, two free college and two years of free preschool that was introduced by President Biden, as well as the monthly stimulus checks for children that are set to start in July 
and will likely be extended until at least 2025, which means if you have a child under the age of 18, you could get at least four or five years of monthly stimulus checks that is already passed from the third stimulus check package for at least one month. I'll keep you, or at least one year, I should say, uh, from the third stimulus check package. So they're looking to extend that to more years. I will keep you up to date with all of these different stimulus items and sti stimulus proposals as new information comes out. Don't miss out on any new episodes. New videos come out every day at 10 a.m., 3 p.m., 8 p.m. and 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. We cover different provisions and different packages in different videos, so don't miss one because you won't want to miss out. You can click this top video here to watch my newest stimulus check video next. This bottom video is to sign the petition for the 2 million signatures for $2,000 a month. And this video teaches you how to start your own business selling products on Amazon FBA where I teach people how to do that and replace their nine to five income. So click on one of those videos next. Thanks guys. And I will see you in the next video.